couple of days ago, TMS announced Electron Framework support for TMS Web Core in Visual Studio Code. A lot of developers are still not familiar with the Electron Framework. So here's an introduction to the Electron Framework with an example. We're going to migrate an existing web client application that exists in TMS Web Core for Visual Studio Code, and we are going to convert it to a desktop application. That is the reason why the Electron Framework exists. It converts web applications to desktop applications on different platforms. So you have one web application and you can create binaries. And by that, I mean a real executable on that platform for Windows, macOS, and Linux. And in this demonstration, I'm actually going to give you the proof that I'm going to create a Linux binary on a Windows desktop, and then I'm going to deploy that binary on a Linux machine instead of a virtual machine. And then finally, I'm going to run that application on the Linux system. For this demonstration, I created a copy of an existing demo I showed in great detail. It is the book order application that lists all the books that I published this year. And this application allows you to navigate to the correct Amazon store in your country for the book title that you would like to purchase. I created a hands-on tutorial how to create the design for this page. And I also created a tutorial with the generic classes, generic lists that are being used for this example with a new version of TMS Web Core that has generics enabled. So this application is a pretty good candidate because it's pretty easy. You have it in your hands. You can download it from the internet. You can build it yourself. And now the step to create a desktop application of this web application is actually a pretty good use case to get a handle of how to use Electron in TMS Web Core. In order to migrate the existing web application to an Electron application, the easiest way is to use the template that TMS provides. So you go to the TMS repository and pick TMS Web Electron Application. This will create an empty application for the Electron framework. After selecting the folder, I can specify the project name. I selected Book Order Electron Example, and I'm going to save the project. Everything is being initialized with one form already being created and one unit already created. I'm going to close this designer and I'm going to delete everything that has been created for me. Also note that we have the package JSON, the man JSON, and the icons for the different platforms already included in the project. So this is the point where you see, hey, this is designed for the desktop and not for the web. And the template also created something for Electron. Another way to see that it is an Electron application that you're working with is the project manager. The project manager gives you the ability to create or compile your application for the different platforms. Supported right now are Windows 32, Windows 64, Linux 32-bit, Linux 64-bit, and macOS 64-bit. That platform no longer has 32-bit support. Just be aware of the fact that you cannot create a macOS binary on a Windows system. This is due to restrictions from Apple and has nothing to do with TMS Web Core. The next step is to insert the existing design and forms into the project we just created. And this is really just copying the files over into the directory. So I copy paste from the old project, from the web generics project, as I called it, and then I switch over to the Electron project that I just created right here, and I paste everything in there. And at that point, it also is being introduced into the project folder. However, you also need to right click it and make sure that it is added to the project. That is a step necessary so it gets added to the DPR file. And the DPR file right now does not initialize the main form or the form that we just added. That is code that we need to write manually. And that is usually done by the template, but everything that the template has created form-wise, we removed it. So we have to update that code. However, this is pretty simple. We simply write then begin 
and we call application dot create form and the first parameter is t for main and the second one is for main with the name of the instance so this is the class type and this is the name of the instance and of course the unit and this is why i added it to the project this is what generates this line however and this is something that you have to correct manually right now form main.pass is derived from t web form electron does not use a web form it has its own form class so first of all we have to add the electron framework which is included in weblib.electron and then we can change t web form to t electron form that's it and at this point we no longer have a web page in the web browser at this point we have a form on the desktop that actually is all you need to do in order to run and test your application for the first time let's go into the designer to check if everything worked and you see the design is still there and the controls are still there everything is still a web application it is still the web design that we created in the html with bootstrap with jQuery, everything is as we designed it inside of the web application. I also select debug, which it means it'll deploy the application to the platform that I'm working on. This is Windows right now, so I will get a Windows desktop application. So I press F5 in order to run the application. And now, instead of the browser being launched, the desktop application will actually be shown. So here's the desktop application. It really is like you see here, this is a window on the desktop. This is no longer the web browser running or anything like it. This menu bar here is the so-called debug menu bar that is introduced by the Electron framework. As soon as you define your own menu bar inside of your application and TMS Web Core has a component for that to add menus to electron applications then this menu will disappear it will also disappear if you do not use debug as a target but any of the other release targets like release windows 32 or release windows 64. so this is just for debugging purposes however you might note the red part which is obviously also not part of the application and this is something I would like to point out, and that is why I left it in there. We have the bootstrap reference inside of the HTML. And this is just something that keeps sneaking up if you load bootstrap before jQuery. Because bootstrap somehow relies on jQuery. And if you don't load jQuery before you load the bootstrap framework, you get this strange error. So all you need to do is you need to integrate the jQuery framework into your application and load it before the bootstrap framework. So before we go on, I just insert the HTML code into the form design to load jQuery. This line is from the jQuery 3.31 documentation. And as soon as I insert that and run the application again, the error should disappear. And there you go. This is exactly our application as an Electron desktop application. Let's see if it works. So right now, let's go to Germany and select the German TMS Web Core book. Go to order page. Whoops. And that's that. And if we open this, this is actually the web page that is supposed to be opened. But this is something that is also part of the migration. If you look at the code, we have in the source code the line application navigate. And if that if you transfer that to Electron, it means, hey, open another window and show this URL. However, that window doesn't have any size, no height, no width. So it just ends up being an empty window. This is not something we would like to do. For that, Electron has a different command or method, so to call, which is called electron shell, 
kind of think of it like the Windows shell that's available. And T Electron shell is something that TMS Web Core offers. T Electron shell dot. So here you see all the methods that are available. And open external is one of the commands. And you can pass the URL that you want to open externally, meaning in a web browser. Because at that point, we want to have a web browser again. And if that application or if that command is executed on a Mac PC, the default browser on the Mac system is being opened. And if it is called on a Linux PC, the default browser on that Linux system is being opened. And as I can show you right here, if we run this on a Windows computer, my default browser is being opened that has been set in the Windows configuration. So let's only make a few changes. Let's go to the English TMS Web Core book in Italy, go to order page, and the web browser is being opened. And it's clearly the Italian page with Italian language. So that works. This is how much work it takes, and I don't even want to use work to migrate a web application to a desktop application. But right now we only created Windows, so how much work does it really take to create a Linux application? Looking at the project manager, I look for Linux 32 for the 32-bit application, right click, click activate, and that's that. And the developer of TMS Web Core also added the build activity. So you just click build and there you have it. The Linux binary creation process is done. Looking at the project in the Windows Explorer, we find everything that TMS Web Core generates or the output from the compiler. You find that by default in the TMS Web subdirectory. And then in debug, you find the debug application, but the actual binary that you were to deploy is not found in the build Linux 32. No, it carries the project name, meaning book order electron example, then the platform, and then the bit number, in this case, 32. So if we click here, this is the application that can be deployed to another platform. If you look at it in detail, you see .so is a pretty good hint that it's something Linux specific, because in Windows it would be .dll and .so pretty much points to Linux. Here you see my Linux virtual machine. It's an Ubuntu Linux. And I took the book electron Linux directory, zipped it up and deployed it. In this case, I deployed the 64-bit version. It's just as easy as the 32-bit. And double click. And here you see it's exactly the files that we just looked at with the .so. And you also see the book electron application. I'm no Linux expert, but I know my way around the console. So I do CD desktop, CD book electron Linux x64. Here it is the right directory. And what I also did, lsal, I added the executable privileges to this file because this is the application that I want to execute. Obviously, if you copy a zip file from a Windows computer, it's not going to have the correct flags in the Linux file system that this application can be executed. So book Electron, we started, and there you go. Here we have it even set, still says TMS Web Project, and it is the design that we created. And if we now change to Italy and TMS Web Core English again, go to order page. This launches the browser. Firefox is the default web browser in this system. And here you see that the application works. So with this little work, we were able to deploy an application to Linux that was a web application. And with a click of a button, we were able to create a Windows version a Linux version, a macOS version, just like that for the desktop as well. I think this is pretty amazing what you can do with the Electron Framework and TMS Web Core. In order to get more details about the integration of Electron in TMS Web Core, please refer to the product documentation that is bundled with the product, but also as a little bit of self-advertisement, 
let me show you this page from my book in the table of contents there is a big chapter that is just about tms web core electron it's about 50 pages and it explains all the classes and all the controls and especially how to do drag and drop on electron applications what to consider with regards to fonts accessing the clipboard accessing operating system things like the local file system and also how you can build multi-form applications meaning how you transfer applications that have multiple forms on the web how you transfer that to multiple windows in electron this already concludes the example how to migrate an existing web application to electron there's still quite a few customers out there that still want a desktop application and if you also want to provide a web application the electron framework gives you a great means to provide both a web application and a desktop application without developing the same application multiple times.